No, 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 no. She's using metal on non-stick. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is living up to the hype. Absolutely. Hey, it's June from the Delish Test Kitchen. Say that three times fast and get back to me. Today, we're gonna be watching the Paris Hilton cooking video. I haven't seen it, I've heard about it, but nobody's given me any spoilers yet besides the fact that it's starring Paris Hilton. So like, it's gonna be great, I'm assuming. It's a very short description. Today, I am going to teach everyone how to make my famous lasagna. Comment below and let me know other recipes you would love to see me cook. XO Paris. Okay, let's do this. Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Paris. Oh my god, her voice. It's so sultry. I'm so ready to be just like swept off my foot. Oh, so that dorky little dog, what a dumpling. <coughs> Holy crap, this is already amazing. 11 out of 10. Would watch again. <laughs> Wait, you know what? I have to rewind. I have to like go back and look at her entrance again because I'm in love. Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Paris. Four seconds in and I'm already losing my mind. This is amazing. The production value on this is amazing. As you all know. Oh my yeah. god. Her dog. Her dog is so light. She just like lopped it over and he still got the blep. You gotta love the blep. God. My entire life I just remember sitting on the counter. My heart is bursting right now. Just like that dog. And her rainbow shirt and her beautiful hair and her freaking voice. How does someone get a voice that manicured and sexy and controlled? Does she have a vocal coach for this show? Because that's a good vocal coach. Okay. This is my little assistant today. Diamond, Diamond Baby. Baby. In a Chanel jacket. That dog has a wardrobe more expensive than all of my clothes combined since the time I was born. Okay. So make sure to put the oven to 375. I'm gonna calm, calm myself down because I have to read the ingredients. Sliven lasagna, lasagna noodles, garlic cloves, onions optional, pepper, Himalayan salt, which is a grand, grand scam by the way. Himalayan salt doesn't really even come from the Himalayas. Ricotta cheese, Shredded mozzarella, tomato sauce, meat. Any alternative you prefer, love it. She's covering all the bases for our vegetarian and vegan friends out there. Okay, okay. Today we'll settle with these. Wow, look at all those linens. Sometimes a queen has to remind everyone why she's queen. Yes, Paris. So this will start just Okay, so looks like she's starting the pasta in cold water. Interesting, very interesting. I actually developed a mac and cheese recipe that starts cooking pasta in cold water. So, you know, Paris and I, besties obviously already with our cooking techniques. It will like shrink so that they're not so big and they'll fit. Like don't break them in half or it just ruins the lasagna vibe. Don't ruin the lasagna vibe. Important. It's true. I am allergic to bull. Me too. Allergic to bull. Somebody get me that on a t-shirt, please. She's wearing like fingerless motorbike gloves. Is that? I don't even know what kind of gloves those are. But when you cook, you cook in style. You know. Love that. I'm in love. Her nails perfect. Her fridge filled with lots of ricotta. A lot of what was that? Gotta rewatch. Gotta stock her fridge. So much water, bottled water. Looks like some kind of wine up top on the door. Got some French's mustard. Okay, cool. That's how Paris eats, I guess. Lots Obviously, of you do not need this Mr. Ricotta cheese. I like using a lot of it because it's amazing. That's a lot of ricotta cheese. Don't use it. That's like six pounds of ricotta cheese and at least four pounds of 
beef. I feel like those packs might be like a pound and a half or two pounds each. Like who did her shopping for her if she's saying this is way too much stuff? Does she know how big her lasagna will be? Will it fit inside the pan? I'm not sure. Definitely recommend. Is she sure? And getting shredded mozzarella because now I have to grate the cheese. This is my first time cooking here, so I have no idea if I even have one. Whose house is this, Paris? Yes. All right. All right, I do have one. Still, I wish this was already shredded. I'll shred your cheese for but you. Whatever, life could be worse. Life could be worse. Wow. Okay, hold on. Did you see that camera angle? It just like swooped. This is next level guys. I love this. It's so artsy in a very casual, only slightly trashy way. It's like what reality TV could be if reality TV were good. We need more of this on the internet. That's for sure. Okay. I'm making this a lot more work than it is. So again, follow my directions. Get the pasta that is already like no need to do this because it's annoying. Okay, nothing has gone according to her plan yet. She got the wrong pasta. She got the whole cheese when she wanted shredded. She got too much of everything. I don't know though, she still looks pretty and smiley and so gentle and nice. I can't tell how pissed she is on a scale of one to 10. She could be an 11 and she's just so good at smiling. I need a life lesson from Paris. Is that another dog? How many dogs does she have? All in. Oh my god. Oh this man. Is so brutal. Oh man. She's shredding it on the tiniest hole too. And for a soft cheese like mozzarella, I feel like that could take an hour. I haven't done this. Oh, she switched sides. I would like help my mom and I'd be like so excited to do this. Now I'm like. Yeah, everything's a, a chore when you grow up. I have for already shredded mozzarella already. I guess other people will do this much more gracefully, but. Love the camera pan to just a Paris. I don't, what is that? A par Paris memorabilia? Just like her looking beautiful and pin-up-y. Out of nowhere, making lasagna. As usual. She's grating the cheese onto a plate, which is fine. Usually when I grate cheese, I like to do it over a piece of parchment paper so that I could pick up the paper and funnel it into whatever bowl or container it's going into much easier. If it's on a plate, it might just like pour everywhere on the counter when you're trying to transfer it. So parchment, useful. Again, I'll come grate your cheese for you, Paris. Just give me a call, you know, you know where I work. My fingers off. That's why I wear my chef gloves. Chef gloves. They're usually for sliving. But now that it's 2020, you're still gonna see sliving. Okay, I'm sorry, what is sliving? I have no context for this. And anybody? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> She's too cool for me. Paris Hilton is too cool for me. Maybe it's like sexy living, living or stylish living. Sliving. Sliving. So the next step is the ricotta cheese, which you just mix around. Yep. Okay, she's mixing. Oh, let me put this together. She's mixing in a blue, very thin, plastic, scalloped edge bowl that looks like it belongs at a kitty swimming pool party for something not food. And she's mixing with a ladle? Like, is it slotted? Slotted ladle with a curved handle and her doggies are there and she's walking in high heels. All these spoons are brutal. Paris, I will also come to your new house and organize everything for you. I do a great job here. I can do the same for you too. Call me. Sorry, I'm doing a cooking tutorial and I have like, no, like none of the correct things. I don't know what this is. But. <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's a spatula that you use when you make uh, cake batters, it's curved on one side so that you can get a very clean scrape around a curved bowl. It could work. Not a bad option. It looks like it will work. Yeah, it's working. So, this, and then you get an egg. Okay. One egg for like six pounds of ricotta cheese. Please tell me you're using more than one. Yep. 
mix it. Just one. Cool. Some of the cheese, you want to use it for different layers, but it's cool to like mix it together. That's like one of my... <sighs> this is a lot of cheese, guys. This is like a <laughs> ton of cheese right now. That's probably going to make enough for four normal lasagnas. I'm very excited. So the next step is to make the lasagna sauce. So just put this on. Careful if you have long hair, because it can light on fire. I usually take olive oil and put that instead of butter, because it's healthier and okay. tastes better. Okay, going for the healthy option. I think I put too much, so. Although I disagree, I think butter tastes better than olive oil. If you could only have olive oil or butter for the rest of your life, which would you choose? Butter. butter. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with butter. butter. If you ever do that, just go like this. Just smush it around. Oh, and she's wiping it all away with a paper towel. Yeah, like just like cool. So if you ever want to not use that much oil but want an even coating, if you have a pastry brush, it could be useful to just use the brush to brush it around instead of a paper towel because the paper towel will just immediately absorb at least half of the oil that you put in the pan, which is not great for uh, the budget conscious cook, but if you're Paris Hilton, who gives a f Whoop, there goes the meat. Mm, yeah, okay, that got discarded. Again, I don't know if I have the right cooking utensil. <laughs> that one still got the tag on it. Work. No, 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 she's using metal on non-stick. Nothing hurts me. <laughs> more physically. Maybe like if you wasted $300 worth of cheese, that would hurt me more, but nothing hurts me more than seeing metal on nonstick surfaces that will wreck your pan. Wrecked. I mean, that dog is, that dog is just. <sighs> what is there not to love about this entire scene? Every frame, a masterpiece. And I'm wondering what flavors of granola bars is in that glass canister on her countertop. Every little clue that I can catch on the screen here, I wonder and fantasize what Paris Hilton's life is like on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not sure of the exact measurement of oh. what you're supposed to do, but this no. is what I do every time. She's dumping in salt so from like... the canister. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That was the weakest oh no I've ever heard. You know she did that on purpose. My mom does the same thing as Paris Hilton actually. She just like pours in the salt straight from the container every time. <laughs> and I get so mad at her because she's like, oh no, why didn't I salt this enough? Or oh no, why is this so salty? Because you didn't measure it, mom. And you didn't feel the salt going in, mom. But if you're making a viral YouTube video, this is the way to add salt in. All right, that's too much. So I'm gonna do my towel trick again. Towel trick. Take a towel. Okay, okay. <laughs> Get bottled water. Bottled water. Not tap. Who knows what's where, in these Where are we going with this? On. Bottled water just went into and the then sink. Dab the meat. Dab, dab the meat? Usually you would not just throw the salt like that. I think I got a little excited. Oh, I see. She's video. trying to pick up the salt. Got so, it. No tap water for Paris Hilton, though. Only bottled. No idea how much, but I Ooh. love. If you use black pepper, here's a tip for you. Do not buy the little cranks that have plastic grinder parts, because when you have something hard like rock salt or black peppercorns in the spice grinder and your grinder mechanism is plastic, that friction will cause some of the plastic to break off potentially. So if you don't want pieces of plastic in your food, go for a metal pepper grinder. That way you'll get a very nice grind on your condiments and spices and you won't have plastic floating in it. Paris, if you need one of those, I can ship one to you. Just let me know the address. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11, because I love 11, 11. Perfect. So it's good luck. Good luck. <laughs> there goes the metal. Oh god, it hurts. <laughs> She's mashing the meat now too. I guess we're keeping it real juicy in here, huh? 
Look at that dog. I don't think that dog has moved. I think the dog is more confused than I am about where it is. Listen, dog, if you need me to come rescue you, give me a call. I know you know how to use the phone. This is what I do when I cook. My oh. unicorn mist. Oh. Okay. That's There's what I've been missing all my food. life. That is the secret ingredient to good lasagna, I think. We need some rose water mist in here. Okay, I was supposed to chop these onions and no. garlic. Let me come chop but it for you. I feel my lasagna should not have onion or garlic in it. The onion, the garlic. We don't need them because we don't want to chop anything. Love it. Streamlined cheese, lasagna. We have the sauce and the noodles are just finishing up. Also, oh, besides, you're already using rouse. That's got onions and garlic in it. You're set. You don't need it. All right. Sunglasses. I actually brought these, so okay. if I was going to cut onions. Oh, yeah. I'd wear them. Usually I do that when I cut onions. Amazing. Kind of helps with tears. I, I just, I don't know how I would be able to see my onions well enough with sunglasses on in a normally lit room. I might chop a fingernail off, but you know, she's Paris. Do whatever the f she wants. Love it. Time check. Has the dog moved? No. <laughs> okay, sauce. Sauce first. A lot of sauce first. Oh, okay. A lot, a lot of sauce. If they rip, it ruins the whole thing, so just don't use those ones. Don't use the ripped ones. Perfect only. So I see here that she's peeling the noodles apart because they've gotten stuck to each other in the cooling time. And if you want to avoid them getting stuck to each other like that, you can put them out on a very lightly greased sheet tray in a single layer so that the noodles aren't lying directly on top of each other. And you can brush those noodles with a very, very light layer of either butter or oil. Or if you like your noodles extra thick and bodacious, you can intentionally stick two noodles together and you get an extra thick layer of noodles. Why is there a bunch of roses hanging out on the countertop? Like, more questions arise in my brain. First of all, are those flowers for me, Paris? Second of all, if they're not, who gave them to you? AKA, who do I have to kill to get to you? <laughs> also, what are those urns on her countertop behind the sink? Is someone in there? Again, can we talk about the camera angles here? I've never seen this camera angle before in a freaking cooking video where like slightly three quarters overhead dipping down into her world, looking down upon all of her me's and unused ingredients and that freaking bunch of roses. And it's just amazing. You get to see her life all in one piece. And somehow, even though everything's kind of wrong, it's all right. Paris, you make it work, girl. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, yes, this is living up to the hype. Absolutely. Am I in love? Obviously. Just the cheese. Everything on it. Is she lying to me? Or did she actually manage to fill all of the meat into one aluminum container because that's magic. That was a shit ton of stuff. <laughs> and now, the last step. I just heard something and I'm not sure if it was a baby or a dog. So this keeps it all baking inside. I'm not sure this is a great idea right now because her cheese level is rising very tall above the lip of the container. And if she's going to wrap it fairly tightly with aluminum foil as the cheese melts, if it's not fatty enough and develop a, a oil layer with the aluminum foil, the aluminum foil will stick to the melting cheese. And then when you lift it off, you might just get a cheese slab on the aluminum. We'll see, I'm jumping the gun here. Also, it just occurred to me, she's been wearing those chef's gloves. She grated cheese with those chef's gloves. Has she washed her hands throughout the entire process, especially after handling raw meat? And if so, are her gloves wet and are her hands getting pruney underneath? Doesn't sound comfortable. <laughs> oh wow, that looks heavy. 
Oh man, that entire oven rack just <laughs> tilted under the weight of her whole lasagna. That lasagna looks like it's legitimately maybe 30 pounds. 35 to 40 minutes, take off the foil. Let's see how cooked it is. Let's see if it's ready. Whoa, yes. delightful. Look at that cheese. I didn't see her peel off the foil though. So like, was there camera magic involved? I don't know. Also that cheese looks so deeply golden brown. Did she broil that? Or did it just naturally toast like that in the oven? I don't know, I'm skeptical. Looks so good that's though. that's how you cook Paris lasagna. Paris I hope lasagna. you guys enjoyed my little cooking show. Can you I'm eat it? cooking more, so let me know what Can I should cook it? next. And Please hashtag it, hashtag cooking with Paris. Please take a Thank bite. Thank you guys so much. Please Make sure to like and subscribe. No! And I'll see you next time. She's not going to take a bite? Oh my god. Wow. Like a moth to the flame I am to Paris Hilton. <laughs> what have I become? I'm uh, completely exhausted by her magnificence. Mag magnific, my, I can't speak anymore. So yes, like, comment, subscribe.